An argument between two women at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant in Newington got way out of hand last night. Police say as that dispute escalated, one of the mothers pulled out a handgun. News 8's Ken Pierce following this very disturbing story live from Newington this noon. Ken. And Keith, at Chuck E. Cheese, you can run and dance and play with all the games. But one thing you cannot do is pull out your 38 semi automatic and threaten people with it. Its theme song says Chuck E. Cheese is funner, but there was nothing funny about what happened last night at the one on the Berlin Turnpike in Newington. An argument broke out, not between kids about who had next at ski ball, but between two moms. And boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, it really got out of hand fast. During this argument, apparently, one of the women brandished a firearm and actually racked around into the chamber of that firearm. Um, allegedly she made some comments to the effect of the fact that she had a firearm um, that pretty much put an end to the argument. I bet it did, but the trouble for 30-year-old Tawana born of Middletown was just starting. Folks at the Kitty Pizza Parlor wouldn't comment today, but they called police last night and Bourne was taken away and charged with a whole list of crimes. Bourne has a permit for the 38 semi-automatic, but police say chambering around in Chuck E. Cheese is not okay. Well, it's the, the threatening demeanor um, and the brandishing of the firearm and then the, you know, the, the context that she uh, displayed it uh, was threatening and, and it you know, did put other children at danger. So again, the crime was not in simply having that gun. She was permitted to have that. The crime was pulling it out in Chuck E. Cheese in a situation when clearly her life was not in danger. That's why she is charged with breach of peace, threatening reckless endangerment, and three counts of risk of injury to a minor for the three kids who were nearby when she allegedly did that. We tried to reach out to Chuck E. Cheese corporate parents for a statement on this, and they have yet to get back to us. We're live in Newington. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.